Sometimes we want to begin our Bible study, not in a particular passage, but with a specific word. For example, we might be asking ourselves this question, what does the Bible say about grace or mercy or hope? When we ask a question like that, we're really focused on one word at a time. Well, fortunately for us, in Logos, there's a tool to help us with this task, and it's appropriately called Bible Word Study, because this particular guide is going to focus on one word at a time. To set this up, let's ask ourselves this question. What does the Bible say about worship? So we're going to go to Bible Word Study to find some answers. Now we can access Bible Word Study in a variety of places in Logos, but I want to remind you of just one place, and that's the command box. So click in the box, and I want you to type the word worship. Type the word worship. Now don't press the enter key because I want you to look at the drop down list. Remember from a previous tutorial, the line items are going to differ based on what we have previously clicked on. But somewhere in the list, I want you to find Open Bible Word Study to Worship. Go ahead and click on that. And that will open the guide called Bible Word Study. We could also access it from the guides menu. Now, let's do a quick reset here. From previous tutorials, I have reminded you that each section in a guide represents a separate search. When the section is expanded, the search is running. When the section is collapsed, the search is paused. So you want to begin by collapsing all the sections. We do that by right-clicking on any section and then selecting Collapse All. The good news is we don't have to do this each time because the way we close a guide is the way it reopens the next time. Okay, so you'll see several sections in Bible Word Study, but we're really only focused on two in this tutorial. Find the sections called Hebrew Words and Greek Words. So we are beginning our study with an English word. What does the Bible say about worship? The Hebrew Word section will show us all the Hebrew words translated worship in our preferred Bible. The Greek word section will show us all the Greek words translated worship in our preferred Bible. So let's focus there. Click the Greek word section and notice that we have a ring. Now, if you will look in the upper right of this section, you'll see that I have a 71 here because I'm using the LEB, Lexham English Bible, and this is telling me that some form of worship appears 71 times in the New Testament of the LEB. So your numbers are going to vary slightly. Look in the center of the ring. We have our English word. Then going around the ring, we have different Greek words. These are all the different Greek words that are translated worship in our preferred Bible. Pretty cool, eh? And the larger the section of the ring, the more usage there is of that particular Greek word. And you'll see that on my screen, the largest section is the blue section. And in the 7, 8 o'clock position, we have a Greek word. I want you to click that Greek word. Proskuneo. And you will notice underneath the ring, we now have a list of verses. And on my screen, it says... 53 of 71. So some form of the English word worship appears 71 times in the LEB New Testament. 53 of those times, it's this Greek word. Now here's where it starts to get fun. Because we want to investigate this Greek word. So underneath the ring, where on my screen it says 53 of 71, I want you to click that Greek word. Click that Greek word, and then a new Bible word study opens focused on that particular Greek word. So here you go to the lemma section where you can access your Greek dictionaries about that word. You can look up the word in your Greek dictionaries and begin to develop a definition of that particular word collapse that section, and then go to the translation section, and here are all the ways this Greek word is translated into English. So you'll see normally it's translated worship, but it's also translated with some form of kneel or knelt. So this particular Greek word has an emphasis on kneeling. Okay, now go back to the original Bible word study, and let's click on the Greek word, sort of in the one o'clock position. 
we get a list of verses underneath. And on my screen, it says 6 of 71, again, in the LEB New Testament, 71 occurrences of the English word worship, six times it's this Greek word. Click the Greek word. We get another Bible word study open so we can study that Greek word. Again, we go to the lemma section where we have access to our dictionaries. We can click on the dictionaries so we get an understanding of that particular Greek word. Now look at the translation section. Many times it's translated worship, but overwhelmingly this Greek word is translated with some form of serve. Do you see what we're doing here? We started our study with an English word, worship, and we discovered there are several Greek words translated worship, and each of these Greek words has a different emphasis. One Greek word we've already discovered has an emphasis of kneeling, one Greek word has an emphasis of serving. One of the Greek words has an emphasis of fear or reverence. Do you see what we're doing? One English word worship cannot capture all there is to this multifaceted aspect of worshiping the sovereign God of the universe. Then we go to the Hebrew word section and we go around the ring and we get even more insights about the topic of worship. This is a great, great study. So if you find yourselves asking the question, what does the Bible say about worship, praise, forgiveness? Pick a word, doesn't matter. Start your study with Bible word study. Focus on Hebrew and Greek words. Go around the ring, clicking on each word, and you will have a depth of understanding of that biblical concept.